Hi everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to the kitchen. A few years ago when I first started my cooking channel, I made a great recipe, squash risotto. And today I'm recreating the same thing, I'm making risotto, no squash, and I'm going to use that risotto, pack it up, let it get cold overnight, and then tomorrow I'll be making arancini. So let's get started in making homemade arancini. For this recipe, I will start by making my risotto. So I need some arborio rice, minced garlic, an onion, parmesan cheese, chicken stock, a dry white wine, this happens to be a Sauvignon Blanc, salt, black pepper, and some butter. And then, to make the actual arancini, I'll use some flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, gruyere cheese to go in the middle, and then on the side I have some tomato sauce for dipping and serving. Begin by chopping and finely dicing one small onion. Grate some Parmesan cheese. Pour four cups of chicken stock into a pot, followed by two cups of water rinsed from the stock container. Turn the stove on medium and bring the liquid to a low simmer. Add two tablespoons of butter to a saute pan, followed by all the diced onion. Turn the stove on medium heat, allow the butter to melt, and saute the onion until it is soft and translucent. Add two teaspoons of minced garlic, and stir and saute for 30 seconds. Add in one and a half cups of arborio rice, stir to coat with butter, and cook for one minute. Pour in a half cup of dry white wine, and stir and cook for two minutes until the wine evaporates. Reduce the heat to medium low and gradually ladle the warmed broth into the rice, stirring frequently, allowing the liquid to absorb, then continue scooping in more broth. Season with some salt, and black pepper to taste. Continue cooking for 30 minutes in total. Sprinkle in a half cup of grated Parmesan cheese and stir to combine. The risotto is done when the rice is just tender and the liquid is creamy. Package the risotto in a container and place in the fridge to cool overnight. Crack and add two eggs to a small bowl. And scramble them together with a fork. Add a half cup of breadcrumbs to a separate bowl and a half cup of flour to another. Cube up some Gruyere cheese into quarter inch size pieces. Scoop up a heaping tablespoon size full of the chilled risotto and place in your palms. Gently flatten it and place a piece of the cheese in the middle of the rice. Use your hands to shape and roll the rice into a ball, completely encasing the cheese. And then place the rolled ball onto a separate plate. Continue scooping some risotto, filling the center with cheese, and rolling the rice into a ball. Take a rice ball and dredge it in some flour. Next, coat the ball in the beaten egg. And once fully soaked, allow the excess egg to drip off before transferring the ball to the breadcrumbs. Cover and coat the rice ball with breadcrumbs. And then transfer the arancini to a parchment paper lined tray. Continue to flour, egg, and breadcrumb coat all the arancinis.
Bake the arancini in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. Remove the arancini from the oven and enjoy. Thank you for joining me in making this baked arancini. I can't wait to enjoy a fresh arancini rice ball with a side of tomato sauce. If you're interested in my recipe for baked arancini, you can click the link in the description box below to visit my website, leahnoelcooking.com. There you'll find all my recipes written out, photos, videos, and more. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.